Hi, I'm Johnny. I'm a global artist ambassador for Phoenix 360, and I'm blessed to be joined today by the musical artist, Greg Gutty. Hey, Greg, how are you, man? Hey, how you doing, Johnny? Peace and love, everybody. <laughs> Blessed loves. Great to see you, brother. And listen, I'm looking forward to learning about your journey as an artist. But before we get started, though, Greg, okay if we share some of your music with our audience. I would love us to tune into your track, I'm Ready. Is that cool? Definitely. Most definitely. I'm ready. Spend All right. <laughs> me too, man. All right, everybody, get ready. Let's tune into the musical artist Greg Gutty with I'm Ready. share your thank music you. with everybody thank you now can you tell me thank now you. you know where'd you grow up and how did you first become a musical artist um i was born in virginia i grew up on you know pretty much the, the east coast of america you know from virginia um up and down the east coast um i started out singing at around the age of five years old um wow. with my three older cousins we had like a quartet group who used to sing gospel songs and we got our first start at my grandfather's church. They would throw like uh, programs and stuff like that and um, concerts. And they would, you know, put us on there. And that's pretty much how I got my start singing as a live, you know, live singer. Well, you can't get much more of a tender age than five years old to be up there for <laughs> morning, man. That is incredible. Yeah. Brother. And also to have kind of that background of, of being, uh, you know, in a church environment, um, you know, it's such a spiritual vibe of course. And so you, and yes. your cousins, you know, performing uh, in that way, uh, it's pretty profound. Yes. And I'm sure also the influence you may have had from your uh, family and grandfather in terms of, you know, bringing you into the musical scene. Uh, and so at any rate, as you progressed, you know, as an artist, you know, how, what were some of these other artists that may have influenced your sound or, or those that you may have loved that made you lead into the kind of music you do now? Well, before I even get into any other artists, I would like to give um, all respects to my father because he's my first favorite singer, you know, from nice. childhood, you know, two, three, four, five, six years old, you know, I hear my father sing in church. And to me, even to this day, I feel like, you know, he's, he's unique and it's nothing like him. So before anybody else, it was my father, you know, he was my favorite singer. 
you know, and still is. But um, outside of that, professionally, um, I've been influenced by so many artists, from Sam Cooke to, um, you know, a lot of the soul artists, Al Green, and um, most recently I got into, like, Bob Marley, um, and, and that's what really direction, you know. Before I was singing about love and, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that, but Bob kind of gave me the perspective of, um, it's more to it than just that, you know what I'm saying? It's more to it, you know, it's, it's life. So, yeah, I would say, Bob, you know, the well is, that's mainly my biggest influence, Bob Marley. <laughs> oh, man, that's beautiful, brother. But listen, I love the credit that you give to your dad, you know, and and give those respects also and say he's your favorite singer. Um, I, I love that. What a great influence yeah. on you. And then some of those R&B yeah. artists you mentioned as well, man, those romantic vibes and just like such amazing depth and soul. Um, I also love those artists and, uh, and, and can understand and see in your music how those have been powerful influences. Now, let me ask this question. Yes. What about, you know, what is your current focus? You know, what are you working on right now in terms of what you might be developing? Um, right now, I'm currently working on some new music. Um, Got a new project coming out the top of the year um, with uh, Itanas. She's a reggae artist. Oh, but, I know uh, with her. It's beautiful. Yeah, working with her production company. So we actually got um, you know, a little project coming up. I can't really speak much about it because we're still um trying to work out the details. But um, we should be releasing that top of the year. Um, working on a tour. You know, going over to England, uh, a European tour. And just working on more music and I'm uh, just broadening my horizon right about now. That's the focus. Just working on new music, you know what I mean? And continuing to just feed the people great vibes, you know? That's cool, Greg. And you know, Etana, what a what a wonderful, powerful <laughs> artist. So much soul and such a yeah. deep human being <laughs> and just beautiful. Um, so it's what a great compliment the two of you will be to one another. And so let me ask this question with regard to the touring coming up. I mean, will that tour be focused in the U.S. or is it worldwide, your vision for it? Well, eventually worldwide. We may start in the U.S., but um, eventually we're spreading out to, um, to the U.K. You know, that's where we're pretty much trying to aim, you know, because huh? they pretty, pretty much feel like, you know, I could be marketed better over there in Europe, you know, versus in America right now. So. That's really the aim to get over to England and um just touch the people over there in the UK and I, I'm very excited about that. Oh no yeah. question about it. And listen, what what do you find also, Greg, as far as the you know followings that you may have developed? Are there certain countries that you know um, are very receptive, or you, you know you have fan bases that you know are internationally? I'm interested in in what kind of ways you've been magnetic so far in terms of those audiences. Um, just really through my live performances, you know, um, being that we live in a social media era, um, a lot of people doesn't always have to be at the actual show to really right. get the effects of it, you know. So I have a lot of people tuning in from all over the world, from France, you know, from um, Australia, you know, South America and Chile. You know, a lot of people, you know, tune in and, and, and um, catch vibes and they often um, can't wait for me to come to their country. So hopefully I can um, perform for them. But um, it's been very um, very very um, great, you know, just being able to um, inspire people through the music, and uplift people, you know what I'm saying? So it's been Absolutely. a great journey so yeah. far. You know, it's a healing vibe that you're you know offering out there, and it's you know inspirational, and you know I'm glad that you know it's magnetic to those people from around the world who have discovered you and and are feeling that same kind of you know inspiration through listening to your yes. music. You know, speaking of the social and digital world as well, Greg, how do you promote yourself? How can people find you, you know, throughout the uh, internet? Um, usually um, my handles are Greg Gutty. Um, you can find me pretty much anywhere with Greg Gutty. Greg, G-U-T-T-Y. You can Google me. You can go to my website. But um, Greg Gutty, you can find me on any platform with that with that name, pretty much, with that cool, handle. And, and what's Greg, G-U-T-T-Y. What, what's your website? greggutty.com greggutty.com man 
<laughs> well, it's, it's, good, so it's, good, it's good to start them there, you know what I mean? But we are also looking forward to you being on the Phoenix 360 app as well, Greg, yes. and see you rise yes. there as well. So you can connect with fans and expand your audience. You know, around the world, people have, you know, I believe uh, an opportunity to expand their own musical tastes and to experience artists and Phoenix 360 is, is doing that. We're aggregating artists from all over the world that maybe are underrepresented. And, uh, and what we're hoping is that people will gather there to be able to enjoy and maybe perhaps directly connect with you more profoundly than in some of the other platforms. But I want everyone yes. to tune in to your social media links and I'll put them below our interview today. So if I was gonna ask you one more question, Greg, about you know, your vision for your music, the gift you want to give to the world, you know, what, what is that? You know, what, what's the, what's your why, if you will, why do you do this? What do you want to give? Um, I feel like it's my calling, you know what I mean? Like, um, I've been put into this, to this, um, to this race from, like I said, the tender age of five, you know, and, um, not only do I love it, but I feel like it's a calling, you know, for me to do the music because there's a message that needs to be spread it, you know. Um, Bob Marley, the Whalers, and a lot of great reggae artists like Burning Spear, and um, I mean, the list goes on. Sure. They did a great job, tremendous job at spreading the message, but the message must continue. So that's pretty much what I feel like my calling is, is to continue to spread the message of peace, love, and, and unity amongst all mankind all around the world, you know what I mean? Um, let the the fortunate help the less fortunate, you know what I'm saying? So let's just all come together and just make it make it one pleasant place. And it's possible. It's very, very possible. So that's pretty much my message. And um, I stand by that, you know, just uniting the people because there's no greater power than us uniting, you know, from all walks of life, no matter what background you come from. We all should just come together as human beings, you know what I'm saying? And, and put forth the best example for the next generation that's coming after us, you know? I'm listen, I'm so glad that I asked you because I am so much in agreement with you. And also when you talk about your soul's calling, Greg, I mean, that is that is beautiful. It's almost you're chosen in a way. You're channeling some energy of one love that is extending and now and rippling out throughout the world in waves of love, man. So I really appreciate yeah. that. Thank you for sharing it, man. I want everyone to tune sure. in to the social media links you find below our interview today for Greg Gutty and look for him rising on the Phoenix 360 app. And Greg, man, thanks so much for hooking up with me, brother. Blessings. Respect. Thank you too, Johnny. And thank you too. Thank you so much, Johnny. And big up to the Phoenix 360 app. And I'll definitely look forward to seeing me on there as well. And uh, we're going to continue on. Hopefully we can do another interview in a, in, in a few months or so or, or have a soon. So, you know, we can follow up, see what's going on next, you know? It'll be my <laughs> honor, brother. Thank you so much, man. All yes. right, man. Blessings and respect. Tune in. Greg Every Buddy. Time. All right. Looking for him on Phoenix 360. Check out his social media links below. And take care, brother. Peace. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Peace. Peace. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do another original tune. This song right here is called My Solution. Check it out.